Taiwan's producers of PPE fabric are moving to boost production to meet anticipated demand in the rest of the year. On Monday, Mitrex Health Technologies, Taiwan's largest producer of meltdown fabric, which is used to make surgical masks, added a production line to its assembly floor in a high-profile ceremony. With support from government subsidies, Mitrex plans to replace three older production lines to increase output by 50%. The officials listen closely with hands properly affixed. Economics Minister Wang Meihua and Taoyuan Mayor Zheng Wenchan, among other officials, went on an inspection tour of this non-woven fabric factory. They pitched in to unveil a new melt-blown fabric production line. This is the largest melt-blown fabric manufacturer in Taiwan. To ensure the ability to meet surging demand, it invested 45 million NT in a new production line. The Ministry of Economic Affairs provided a subsidy of 20 million NT. This production line will officially be put into operation in July. It's set to contribute to revenue in the second half of the year. Actually, if the government provides the right assistance to these manufacturers at the right time, it can help the industry obtain an even more successful outcome. If we do not provide support, many of these companies might say, I've spent so much money, what if I don't succeed? What happens if we don't get any business? When the government gives a push in the right direction, business opportunities follow. This new melt-blown non-woven fabric production line was completely made in Taiwan. I believe that the supply of non-woven fabric will be plentiful in the future. With support from the Economics Ministry, production of melt-blown non-woven fabric is set to increase in the third quarter. This producer plans to replace three old production lines with new ones that boost daily output by 50 percent, from two tons to three. The production capacity of this line can be increased further. And then there's the fact that this new machine was built using our own technology. We did it on our own and put everything together ourselves. The pandemic has created new market opportunities for medical equipment. In May, this factory produced 210 tons of non-woven fabric, posting revenue of 92.89 million NT, up 137 percent year on year. Revenue between January and May was 295 million NT, or yearly growth of 55 percent. With new machines lined up, Taiwan's mass production industry is ready to tackle market demand in the second half of the year.